Here's our top story tonight at 10. The search for a missing pregnant teen intensifying on this Christmas night. Just hours ago, the family of Savannah Nicole Soto out driving around in Leon Valley looking for any signs of the missing 18 year old and a clear alert issued earlier indicating police believe she could be in danger. On December 22nd, 2023, the Leon Valley police got a call for a missing persons report. Family of Savannah Soto were extremely concerned as she was pregnant and had an appointment at the hospital to be induced. Family members couldn't get a hold of her, she wasn't answering her phone. They checked the hospitals, but there was no sign of Savannah anywhere. Savannah lived with her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, and no one could get a hold of him too. Savannah was then reported as a missing person. The media grabbed the story and started reporting that both Savannah and Matthew were missing, and Matthew's car description was broadcast in the media. It was said to be a 2013 gray Kia Optima. On December 26, a message from a resident in Danny K Drive messaged a family member of Savannah and said they believe the car is parked at 5903 Danny K Drive. The family contacted Leon Valley Police and drove to the location. Upon the police's arrival, they observed a pregnant female in the front seat and a male in the back seat. A check of the vehicle's information proved that it did indeed belong to Matthew Guerra, the deceased boyfriend found lying in the back seat of his car. The officer looked and noticed that Savannah had trauma to her head. Matthew was in the backseat with a shot to the head, and it appeared as though he had been dragged into the vehicle. There was no weapon found near Matthew. After receiving a search warrant for the vehicle, officers entered the vehicle and found spent shell casings. It's believed that Savannah and Matthew were killed at a different location, and then the vehicle driven to the location was found at. Further investigation found surveillance footage, which showed a heavy-set male in a dark-colored pickup truck. Matthew's vehicle and the truck approached each other and stopped. The heavy set male emerged from the truck and approached Matthew's car. The male then appeared to speak to the driver of Matthew's car, which was not Matthew or Savannah. The heavy set male then took a towel or cloth and wiped the side of the car. Both the truck and Matthew's car then drove up and it was parked behind the building, where it was found on the 26th of December 2023. It's believed that both Savannah and Matthew were already deceased when the car and truck met up. On January 2nd, cell phone data revealed that one of the victims searched the street Charlie Chan Drive. It was just blocks away from where Matthew's car was eventually found. The phone also gave off signals at this location and then never moved again until almost midnight, where it was then moved to the location that it was recovered on the 26th of December. Looking more into the address, a pickup truck was seen that matched the one on the CCTV footage. Also, the owner of the pickup truck matched the description of the man exiting the truck in the footage. Investigators went to the residence and Raymond answered the door, he said he knew why officers were there. Raymond admitted to driving the Silverado to meet his son, Christopher. He identified himself on the footage. They then spoke to Christopher, who reported that Savannah and Matthew drove to his residence to sell him marijuana. The version that Christopher provided is inconsistent with the evidence being found at the scene. Christopher stated that Matthew had a weapon on him and pointed it at him. Christopher then manipulated the weapon which resulted in Savannah being shot. Matthew then pointed the weapon at him again, which resulted in Matthew being shot and killed. Christopher's version is inconsistent with the evidence found at the scene, as well as Savannah and Matthew's injuries. That is a summary of the probable cause affidavit, and we will get deeper into the details in another video.